Well, Pete, he is. I think this is all but done. The information is that he will even take training today with the players, so he will be back on the training pitch with Chelsea's players, many of whom he knows from his, spur, uh, his first spell, uh, as we've just been hearing about there. You described that first spell and how it unfolded. Uh, a lot of the younger players, remember, they were in the middle of a transfer ban at that moment in time, so he did bring on the likes of Mason Mount, Rhys James, give them a lot of game time. And also in his, uh, in his time there, the likes of Hakim Ziyech, Kai Havertz, Edward Mendy, they all signed and were part of Frank Lampard's uh, Chelsea squad. So he, he is back, he's, he's taking the training um, and, and will be in charge for the game uh, against Wolves this weekend. It, it means Chelsea will have had, th I guess, three different managers in a week. Graham Potter took charge of the Aston Villa game. It proved to be his last. Bruno Salter uh, stepping in for that Liverpool match. And then Frank Lampard, who also took in that game, by the way, from Todd Bowley's box, uh, will take the team and lead the team into the, the Wolves match before that huge double header against Real Madrid because that's what Chelsea uh, season depends on. Real Madrid, Champions League, that double header, if they get through that, they then have Bayern Munich or Manchester City and it looks like it will be Frank Lampard, the man to lead them through that to provide some stability in what have been turbulent times here at Stamford Bridge this season.